Well, today's fighting us some. This thing's stuck. Sandy worked ground. Just buried. Oh, smokes. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. Beautiful Monday. Beautiful. This might be my last day for a little bit as far as working full days during the week farming. Um, we got a robot startup coming, so I got that. I got a lot of stuff to do with that. But 7520 is looking killer on the plows. Love that setup. So few things left to do with that and then uh we'll be turning some dirt what we got to do this morning though fertilizer spreader needs to go get put on the 6155 and we're going to spread out some ground for corn it looks like rain middle of the week now so that will be good for some grass ground but the corn ground's got to get covered then we can go plow it so appreciate you guys watching along and let's dive into today got to pick up the fertilizer spreader, throw it on the tractor. Yeah. Going to be a beautiful day. There's something in that pallet. I'm gonna drop it over here, you can check it out. He's got the spreader on, letting it air up, all hooked up. Just slightly chained down, we're not actually gonna go on the road, I don't think. Um, once we go do grass, probably Tuesday, because it's supposed to rain Wednesday, then we will uh, run down the road. But let me see where we're at here. Oh, they enriched both of them. That's kind of odd. It should have been two ton and six ton. That looks like a lot more than six ton in there. That looks like a lot more than two ton. So, enriched means it's supposed to hold the nitrogen longer um, instead of oxidizing so we do that on corn ground but I guess we're doing it on both which is okay so yeah that means we can spread all of this earlier that might be six ton this looks like a lot looks closer than it should be so all righty we'll pull it out that's good though they're gonna we're gonna take the weight off the back so more sits in the middle We'll get it swung out. Oh, we better shut our doors before we get too far along. So, you open the doors up so that it uh, can drain water out. I gotta need two hands here. Maybe not. This door is the one that fights me quite a bit. But as you see, I left it open and all the water drained out, so that was good. Alrighty. Let's see if we remember how to do this. We got no hydraulics. What did we do wrong? It might not be engaged. The dump pump was hit back from lowering the dump trailer. So now it's engaged. Should be. Yep. That one's up. down and he'll 
whole back right underneath. And we're taken out of this back compartment. Both are enriched. They're not supposed to both be enriched. There was a miscommunication between somebody. And uh, that stuff is 23023 with some sulfur and some magnesium. This stuff is 4000 with sulfur. This stuff's supposed to be for top dressing corn. That stuff's supposed to be for grass and some of uh, putting it into corn uh, for starter or for chisel plowing it in before we uh incorporating it in before we plan into it so there's a miscommunication that i only got five acres that i want to top dress right now because it's yellow um it didn't get manure last fall so we're not ready to top dress so what we're gonna do is blend the rest of this with some of that because otherwise we're gonna use that and not have any for our grass um we got six tons of that this is three tons um we're gonna blend it together so that we have somewhat of the right thing really i don't know i don't know why it was so hard i got 20 acres of grass to do or corn to plant just about 20 acres or, or spread fertilizer and get going on 15 to plant and um five to top dress so i just wanted some of like 23 zero zero we sh i should have got it all 23 zero 23 Zero twenty-three. That would have made way more sense than having them get all confused and get me top dressed. Because <sighs> we're not at, we don't need it yet. The plants look healthy. Got a few little yellow spots, but nothing too crazy. So, alrighty. Well, that's me rambling along and explaining how this got messed up. I had to go find the sheet that they dropped off and nine hundred dollars a ton for forty zero zero which is just straight nitrogen 905 for 23023 which is nitrogen and potash so yeah i'm gonna jump in the tractor pull it over here we're gonna put some air in the tires of the chisel of the plows uh and get my gauge wheel plow on because i took it off because it does sit wider when you're running across town put some pins in and we should be ready to rock and roll last time I used this was on my own field and we had some steering issues so this was a part and if you guys remember I was working on this and somebody came by with the disc and they smoked this tire <laughs> and dragged it so the tube is all ripped out of this inside of it this one still has the valve stem of the tube <sighs> this wheel goes right here and this is your depth wheel so kind of a necessity i forgot about that that that's what happened they hit me twice up in the front first with the disc and then kept driving and ripped the back around and yeah, not everybody's meant to run equipment. Well, put tire jet in this one. Got it filled back up. We're good there. This one's the one that got hit by the plow. And uh, it has a tube in it. But what I did was get it off the bead down there with the wheel loader so that I could reach in. And I put a regular valve stem in there, non-tubeless or tubeless. But you see it's still got some leaks on the bead. Just didn't seal well. Having some grass in there is probably not the best thing. So we're gonna drain the air out, throw some tire jet in there, and send it. I wanted both tires because I know if I only did one, I was gonna have an issue because I've had more issues with these than anything on this plow. Um, so now if I got a spare, things will go good. Well, drain it out, throw some tire jet in it, spin it around, fill it full of air, and then we should be good to go. So. I am not sponsored by Tire Jet, but it has done absolutely wonders for me. So yes, it's not it's not rated for tubeless or tube tires. 
Shizzle Plow has a tube tire. We filled it up with some tire, or we put some tire jet in it, and it's been, hasn't leaked since. So it is not rated for tube, tube tires, but it works in tube tires, just to say. But that's farm and fix as far as uh, making sure it keeps going. We'll see if the tire jet seals it up. I got little, little spots that are leaking out. There was one up here that tire jet actually came out of right here but right now right there is it I didn't realize when he had hit me with the disc how friggin bent that is now so that whole spindle that comes across is all bent and mangled oh crap hopefully that gets me through you guys are dirty there you go you guys better I'll have to get a whole new spindle and whatnot because I'm sure heating that and straightening it. I guess we'll have to take it apart after we do this. Hopefully it gets me through. Now we're ready to rock and roll. Got the flag up there. I gotta get some more flags. Had to rub it off the disc. But we gotta look American as we're farming. Whew. So he's got one more load of fertilizer to come grab. If I wasn't messing around with this, I would have brought the tender right over, been done, but figured I should get this done. I'm gonna go throw some fuel in it, park it up front. I'll get him loaded and we'll get into some on land plowing. So when we get over there, I'll explain exactly what goes on with this. Hopefully this bent wheel will make it through. So this is only used in the field um, to set your level on this side so it doesn't go too deep. But I totally forgot that that got bent. So. It's got to be where the shaft comes out in the threads, it's got to be bent back. I'm sure we could heat it and move it. I guess we'll have to see. All fueled up. Just waiting on the tractor to get back, send him with his next load. A lot of people have asked how this thing's running good again. When I keep the fuel tank full, things are good. So when it gets lower, then we got issues. So. We got to get to it. I just don't have the time right now, but I switched. I did re-engage him. I switched this one. This was the only one that went the wrong way as far as up or down. So I got it switched out. As you see, it's got the stop in here to not go too low. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll clean these bad boys up. Pretty excited. I do have all, I think all new points in there. Frank has some too that I think fit this, but hell of a rig if you don't know I got this last year to do some ground that was overgrown that needed to get flipped the farm does have a set of three bottom I think they're Ford plows they're absolutely they're horrible like uh, when I was a kid I used to mess around with them and it was nothing but a nightmare till then I figured out what decent plows were are these the best plows no no they're not but they fit fit according to the tractor they got the look so plus online plows it's the way to do it so all right tractor should be back here get him filled with the last one and then we can go plowing on the move
Well, today's fighting us some. This thing's stuck. Sandy worked ground. Just buried. Oh, smokes. It's impressive. Um. Alrighty. strap on the front of me, hooked around the back of the disc, I just got to pull them back, you went into a hole that I made, with some roots there, got it out nothing too crazy we got a celebrity Danny the short spot hell of a freaking hole there just buried that hitch and everything else what are you doing fuck yeah oh here it would have been really nice if they didn't use this as their landing for logs and we could have actually made this place pretty clean um, yeah i'll sneak out back here to that one he's gonna finish up this in that field i figured out what the issue was he had an auto four-wheel drive so anytime he turned four-wheel drive shuts off so he's just digging holes with the rear tires so we're good now but the roadway is going to come in run right down here right here out back here there's a gas line down in here that's why they can't put their roadway on it um i sure hope i can fit out here i don't think so not with those logs well, that's not good. I had to pull down that silk fence and uh, sneak around it, which I'm probably gonna have to pull down some more out here. It's really inconvenient, all of this. And the developer said, oh yeah, you'll be fine. You can do the fields, here we go. Well, the contract or construction guys, they haven't done anything to help us make all of our lives harder so this ground was corn last year and we got fertilizer on it now working it in thought about chisel plowing it but i said hey i'm over here already i might as well bow board it some of the weed control will bury that hell does it plow good
the next one. Got this all done. He's gonna finish up there. And he'll be close behind me again. He stopped so I can get ahead a little bit. I will sneak back across this silt fence. A little update on where we're at. <laughs> Tire's flat. I'm still running, but got this field worked up in the front. There's skitters kind of in the way, so we're not all the way going forward. There's a rock right there, but we're gonna make this a straight line. Francisco's out here disking away. Um, yeah, 6150, 55 just doesn't like the big, doesn't have the power it should as far as the true raw American power. But he is getting it done. The wheel loader is coming down to pick some bigger rocks that we got right, like right there. Yep, that one. Okay. Good, we're avoiding them right now. But I started disking or started plowing the out back section. I did that so that it could work out. Now I'm going back and forth, and it was a little wet down in that, but it's just growing weeds and stuff like that. But we're going straight through it. We got the 7520, we got all the power. Um, yeah. This stuff, we chopped this off, now we're going into it. So we're like double cropping out here. Um, me and Yanko will keep going. Hey, why are you laying in the dirt? He is. I don't even know if you guys can see him. He's right, right there, right there. I wish these logs were out of here by now. <laughs> they must be, they must have been chipping stuff. We'll walk over there and check out what food they got. Um, these logs look like what they're gonna ship them. They're big size. They must have been chipping all the small stuff. They got two log loaders over here. The skitter and the chipper. So I take it they're ch chipping. They're gonna ship those as big logs. They're all cut to length. Yeah. So, house lot going in there, driveway coming back, going in, and then we'll have the field from here over. Come fall, we'll seed it down, look good. Alrighty, we better keep going. They're picking some rocks, got the loader down here, Yanko's, uh, he might be eating dirt, or he might be actually helping pick rocks, we're really not sure. But either way, he's supervising. I'm all finished up. Tractor struggling in the heavier ground. I left my jack at the farm, so I found this piece of wood. We'll see if I can set it down on that. Nope, this is stuck. Well, yeah, and then we'll take over for him. Yep, not good. Need more of a tractor on there. Well, he is. He's stuck. I will admit, I lost almost all my GoPro batteries and I lost the block charger that I really like. I actually think I threw them all away. 
think they were in a bag and I thought it was all trash and it was only half trash and I threw a bunch of stuff away that I probably need or shouldn't have thrown away but so I'm working with two GoPro batteries now and uh, if anybody who uses a GoPro you do know it burns up batteries especially I give you guys 20 to 30 minute videos I probably got an hour yeah hour plus of actual video and then I edit it down to that so it does use some battery but this is home this this old girl worked hard um plus did good other than that one tire on the other side being able to steer makes it way easier what i get i think i gotta do drill another hole and narrow it up even more for narrow road transport i think that will allow me to do that they put this on but that looks like a fire extinguisher bracket that or somebody put it on so i think i could go another hole and have it even narrow and i gotta rebuild my jack it's bent so it doesn't slide into that one minor things but yeah old girl's been doing good so 1974 75 20 it's fought me in the past is it perfect no does it work well yeah does it out pull the new stuff yeah so very happy with it um we'll give it some love we got to put the cap kit in the roof stuff like that fix up some leaks um and figure out the fuel and then it it's an animal plus light bars on the side so i do have it wired so that i could put two light bars on the side so i can see everything around me but the thing that did not make it home was the disc though so i used them i picked them up with a quick hitch because they brought them to the field with no hitch on or no jack on it they left the jack here i don't know i just don't know so i picked them up with the quick hitch i was able to do it when i unhooked them i set them on a rock so it was higher hoping that i could get it in but the other tractor the hitch is a little bit higher the 61 uh 55 but that problem with the lift arms not going down to at all that happened so I could not lower the lift arms to pick it up with the the strap so we left them there we'll have to go down with the jack tomorrow and pick them up you've been doing good appreciate it like yeah wild those years were awesome alrighty I think that's enough for today I appreciate you guys watching along we did some on-land plowing. I know it gets people revved right up. Why don't you no-till this? Why don't you do that? Turning dirt when it's been like that for like 20 years, if not long. It's been like that th my whole life. I've never known that any of that ground to ever get worked other than the one in the back that we did. So put corn into it, rotate it, put grass back in. It should grow some killer corn because it hasn't had corn in it in who knows how long. But that is why we did not no-till it. Plus we don't have a no-till planter. Um, but I think turning dirt gives us more opportunity than no-till. And granted, there was only like eight rocks in that whole field that got picked when the loader came down. Nothing too crazy. Alrighty, I'm going to get out of here. Appreciate you guys. Have a good one. See you on the next one.